Fuck yes, yes. You're having a laugh. My, uh, my bloody um, zipper just broke. <laughs> so hello, folks. I was just zipping up my coat, and the zipper broke off. Great. So I need to find a different coat, probably. But and it's very cold today. Really cold. So. Um, yeah. We shall have to see how we get on because um, my neck is no cold because I can't zip up my coat and for some strange reason my legs are also cold so hang on I'm just uh, going to try and uh, remedy this situation somehow but I'm not exactly sure how yeah So today I'm going to go and check out Avebury. I'm going to go and see uh, what's going on there. Go up the ridgeway towards uh, Wharton and get the name of the hill now. It's an encampment. Why oh, can't I remember? I'll be going past uh, Hackpen Hill towards. God, I can't remember the name of the bloody place now. I'm doing well tonight, folks. Doing really well. It begins with B, I can't remember. Bro, bro. Barbary Castle, that's right, Bratton, I was thinking, but no, it's Barbary Castle. I knew it would begin with B. Yeah, you can go today. That that is generally what what driving is about. It's not like dawdling and swerving around in the road. It's like, do you literally have to swerve when you you start to speed up? It's like, oh, I better swerve around a bit now. Oh, because I'm going to speed up. Bloody hell. Proper nippy though. Oh god, bloody steam inside the uh, every time I close this visor, bloody steam. Oh 
Oh, oh for shit. Keep it open, it's bloody cold. I close here, I can't bloody see. Great. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the new uh, 360 cam. It's the one inch 360. So it should be slightly better quality. But it's mostly for night stuff that you need the extra quality, but. Indicator, 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 indicator. Indicator off. There we are. It's the steam up show again. Steam up, steam up, steam up. Can't see a bloody thing now. Great. One gap, sorry. It's bloody useless. Just have to have a bit of wind, I'm afraid, folks. So this is 60 miles an hour, that's what it looks like. 100 kilometres, 60 miles an hour. Nice and windy, nice and cold. But I am going to go back to uh, my normal trousers because, uh, yeah. If I could find some boots that don't make you feel like you're you're wearing bloody ski shoes, I might do it. But so far, the stuff I've used in the past. It's like something you'd wear if you were going on a bloody um, tea, well, uh, a bloody um, circuit, you know? It's like, it's no good for me because I need to flex my feet when I'm going up bloody tracks and things like that. So I'll have to see what's available, but I've not come, come across anything that uh, I like so far. Brakes feel a bit stiff today. Mm. 
come on. Clutch is uh, a bit, I think everything's cold, it's all a bit stiff. Indicators off. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Well done. Thank you for that. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done. There we go. There you go, mate. You're happy now. Yeah, look, there's no traffic behind me, but you had to pull out in front of me. There's nothing behind me, but you're like, no, I'm coming out now. What a twat. What a twat. Really. You couldn't wait like two seconds. You had to make me slow down, slam the brakes on. You had to do that, did you? That was really fucking important. Jesus. Okay, oh, now some people they live in their own little fucking world, don't they? They live in their own little world. And then, you know, then people say to me, like, you've got no right to go in buildings doing this and doing that. And, and it's like, what, what, what right did that little dickhead have? You know? You know, nobody's got rights to do anything, have they? Except they all do. Oh, look, now. All right, mate. See ya. See, I got in front of you, see, mate? got in front of you didn't I so was it really worth it mate or you just don't like bikes or something well, this is going nowhere fast bollocks isn't it Right, I'm going to go buy something from my bike shop. Well, car shop as well. So I get all my shit from. Yeah, the clutch bike point on this is so tight. I think the I think the clutch needs replacing as well because it should be a, like a a wide spread, and it's just like uh, it's like a little point, and that's it. It's just bang. Sorry. is off. Confirm they're off because they often don't go off when you press them. Indicators, 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 indicators. Where's the bite? Jesus, the bite is shit on this. 
So I bloody hold the hold the clutch all the way out to get the point. And the point is just tiny. Them off. Nice day, it's turning out quite nice. Uh, number four, three pound thirty three on number four, three pound thirty three. Uh, yeah, thank you. Cheers. Sorry, thank you. Indicators, indicators, indicators to get it off. There we go folks. Well I should check really whether I'm still recording I suppose. Oh yeah, my timer's gone to zero so let's just check whether we're recording. We're on our way to Avery. This is the industrial estate on Devizes. That guy on the left, small bone of Devizes. I went to his house. It's absolutely amazing. Poor guy. Poor guy. Um, Mark something. His name was. And um, he uh, he died of cancer. Sadly. He's a very famous uh, 
carpenter house designer, carpenter type thing. Amazing the woodwork out inside his house. All handcrafted wooden doors with special wooden um, wooden lifters. Oh, I need to go in the recycling centre. That's on the right. Ah, shit. It's open today. I might be coming back down here later on, folks. Indicators, indicators, indicators. Come on, bite, bite. Bloody hell. Indicators. need to cover my neck up. person driving his car on the right. <laughs> those little uh, weird Citroens. I don't know why people buy those. She spent like five grand on it. It's like, you what? You do what? Are you insane? Yeah. Bloody hell, it's bitterly cold. my neck because I start to get a little bit nasty.
It's getting really quite cold. Now you can get you can get up there through the side, you see? And then you can get all the way up the top, but there's a farmer there with his tractor, so he's probably gonna go mental if he sees me starting to cross country it. So I'll give that a miss for the moment. Right. Hang on, I'm just gonna adjust this clutch a minute. some more rubber stuff to allow a little bit of breathing in here. Yeah. We're going to come back to the right of us. There's a track that goes all the way along the top comes out, uh, where is it now? comes out of my old place, Bishop's Cannings. That's quite good. Yeah, so bitterly cold today. Need a scarf or a snood. Wow. Well, I'm not feeling it too bad. It's just my neck, my ankles. I can uh, feel it quite bad. Uh, no cars behind me, I don't think. So now I'm, I'm going to take you... Well, actually, I'm just thinking now, which is the best way to take you? I can take you on a cross-country through the back, the back um, tracks get to Avery and then we'll get up on the top so I think we need to be coming off about here now so here we go oh, oh. this looks a bit heroic this is a bit bit more than I was expecting but it is a bit shit Right, so what are we going to do then, folks? Straight up the middle, see if we can make it. Mm. Come on, Amp. Yeah, heroic, but what can you do? It is what it is. Bike's performing nicely today, he says. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? Sprag clutch is uh, going okay. Wow, look at the ruts here. You used to be able to drive up and down this. Now, oh, only in the summer if you're, if you're feeling really confident. Right. There we are, we're out to the worst. Uh, let's uh, get ourselves going then. Right. So we've been over to the monument, which is over there, but now we're going to go to the right. This is like the back of Yates Street, etc., etc. And there's a little uh, cut through road that cuts you through to Avebury, so we'll see if we can get down there. See if we can. And it brings you out, oh look at that bird of prey, wow. Look at the size on that, folks. That is a, that's a beast. 
Bloody beast. Right, so there is a uh, pathway there, but it's not very good. So. So let's get down here then. That's what the doctor ordered. A little bit of off-road. Cancel those indicators. I've got to remember, after after you come across cancel indicators, the thing is there's so much involved with turning, changing gears, clutch, you know, clutch control. And it's like I always bloody forget it. I'm useless. I'm I'm finding the car. Oh, they're still on. See, I cancelled them. I cancelled them. And they still... No, they just went off by themselves. They just went off by themselves. I'm not even kidding you, folks. Oh, no way. I'm telling you. They, I... Ah, Jesus. Right, forget that. Keep riding. Worry about the riding and not the bloody uh, indicators, isn't it? Wow. Nice bumps here, folks. Nice. There we go. Proper ass shake of this. Pudding. Right. So, uh, now, if you go, just got to remember now, if you go down there, it takes you to, I think it's Windmill Hill. I've got to remember, is it is it up there? I think it is. That takes you to Windmill Hill. That takes you to Avebury. Um, let's go up Windmill Hill briefly. I'll show it to you. There's a... Oh, starting off in second or third there. Bloody hell. Thought it was in second, but... Anyway, I'll show you Windmill Hill. And uh, there's not much to see. It is just a little... Barrow or fort or something like that. There it is. It's right at the top. Yeah, it is this route. Yeah. God, I've been down here for years. A clay pigeon shooting on the left. A little clay pigeon uh, doodad. Here we go. Nice. No matter what you do, it always gets squirrely. Squirrel. Just got to keep the bike upright. Oh. Bloody hell, steaming up when I need to see where I'm going and I've got the visor open. It's always the bloody same. So, it is a mud track up here now. You don't really want to come up here in the winter. Oh, in the car anyway. It will not be good. From this point onwards, you will not like it. Look at that. Ooh, I'm not liking it. My back, my back wheel just went out. Look at that, folks. How are you going to get through that? Wow, back wheels. Back wheels saying. And what's your problem, Mr. Williams? Come on then, let's go. Clutch control in second, still steaming up. There you go. Didn't want to be in that rut. Prefer to be up on the edge, and my tyres ain't going to get controlled by the rut. Look at that on the right, look at that. That is proper mud rut. Wow. Look at that. Oh, you would get stuck in there. Wow. I can't believe anybody's actually gone up that. It's crazy. Well, here we go. Here we go again. Mud ruts. Don't like these. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit, folks. Look at this. Wow. Whoa. 
Is that even possible? I don't know. I'm not going in it. But what's this? What's the side like? That's the that's the the point. What is the side like? Right here we go, folks. Whoa! Get back in the middle. Bloody hell! This is a friggin' death trap down here, folks. Wow! Oh shit! Oh my god! Really? I'm not feeling this, to be honest. This is getting too crazy. I don't know who would come up here, but I I don't. Oh, my indicators are on, see? I don't know who would come up here, but I don't think I'm one of them. Wow. So I don't know. Whoa, my feet are slipping. It's not good. Right. Let's get this in neutral. Get this in neutral. Walk us back to where it flattens out a bit. So I couldn't get my arse up over that rut then. That's where it was. Oh, oh, going a bit high. Oh. Right, getting out here. That's too much. Too much. Much too much, folks. Did not like the look of that. Because I don't want to get stuck in it, see? That's the thing. You get stuck, I'm going to have to put my feet down in the mud. So it's one thing getting, you know, like, seeing whether or not you can do it, but then my feet are going to be caked in mud and wet and that is not going to be nice it really is not going to be fun all right here we go and again got to get past this bit with oh, some modicum of uh, respect oh shit <laughs> That's the biting point, see? That's me misjudging the biting point. Am my, my wheels turning or not? You can't tell when you're in mud like that. You just can't tell. Nah. See, it's, uh, it's a bit of a heart stopper when you end up on shit like that. I mean, you know, don't know what you feel like, folks, but... It's like my my heart rate definitely whoa. I was gonna say I thought a pheasant was trapped in the fence then. But it flew away. I think it was trapped in the fence, but it did it did get away, so Yeah, right, let's get over here. A bit better. Wow folks. This is uh mega shit. I hope this is not um, an indication of what we're just about to encounter up on the top. I know it is definitely uh, wetter down here. It's like a bit of a sort of flood plainy type area, you know, so the water will settle here. Hopefully up on the top of the hill, it's not going to do that so much, but we shall see. Here we go. Right. Whoa. Whoa, that's the, uh, the back end going out. Clutch it a bit more, just so there's a bit less direct traction. The bite point on this is so fine, you just don't know when you're actually biting. You can't feel it when you're on mud. All right, let's get off that. Okay, I think we're getting back to the, like a sensible spot here now again. This is more sensible. Oh, he spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Where's my bite? There's my bite. Where's my bite? Thank you. Very, very small bite point. Would be nice to, uh, to change this, I think change the clutch plates over because when they go like this and they go tight it means the clutch is worn and if you take it apart and look at it it look perfect you think oh there's loads on there but when you change it 
it's like bang it's just like micro millimeters per clutch plate and uh, makes all the difference so are we looking on time now oh, three minutes to, to change the uh, the camera footage so I will do that at this um, junction up here so here we go at this junction now Now if you come up this way, um, there's uh, a way that goes through into Avery, but I think it's blocked off the vehicular traffic, but I can I can actually get down there on a bike, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's not like completely blocked. I can turn around and come back if it is, but you know, obviously I want to sort of come through and to show you what's there. All these sheep are, are running towards the farmer, so they're looking for looking for food. They're like, oh yeah, it's the farmer. He's really got my, he's got my food. Yeah. I remember lost down that one. Check that out and be another way to go to the same place, but it looks such a better road. Bray Street Cottages from 1820. It says no through road, but it, it, it does go right up to the back of Avebury, but as I say, it's blocked then, so we shall see if we can get through. See if there's a sneaky way round the barrier. So this is this is the back of Avery now. It's the bit that a lot of people don't see. Now it becomes a footpath. Ah, am I gonna? Is this gonna let me go through, or is it gonna become a bloody nightmare? Probably a nightmare. It's gonna become a. Uh, can we or can't we? I've always turned my car around at this point, so I don't know. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna get chased out of here now. Like, eh, what are you doing? It's not. It's a bloody. It says cycle path. Look, so if you can, if you can take a cycle down here, then theoretically there has to be a way to get through. National Cycle Network. So, I am a I am a bicycle. It says on my uh, vehicle registration document. It is a bicycle I'm on now. It's te technically, it is. It's a bicycle. It is. Yeah. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh yes, folks, we're we're getting through. We are getting through. National Cycle Network sign ahead of game. So this is it. Real deal, folks. All right. I don't think we want to go there because that's the church. Go this. Go up here. Go up here, we will literally 
be coming out on the A3 High Street. Oh, come on, bite points, you are a bastard. It's like I haven't got, like, I can't move my hands out, you know, enough to, to find a bloody bite. But you've got to go, it's like larger than my reach of my, uh, of my hand. I'm going to I'm going to adjust that now because it is crazy. I can't um I can't keep reaching out to beyond where my hands can reach. I'm going to put the extension on as far as it will go. Right, okay. Let's undo this. Right, does it turn? Does it spin? Come on, baby. Give it as much as we can. Keep that as loose as we can. There we go. Right. See if that works a bit better. Right now you can go up that way, or we can go up this way. Now, the thing about this way is it takes you. This is Avery, by the way, Avery Stone Circle. Or we can go up that way. I'll take you up this way because we come along all of the stones. So, um, and I'll bring you in on a forthcoming video to talk more about the stones. I have got one lined up that I've not edited talking about the stones in 3D but for the moment we will uh, we will not be doing that but this is now known as the Avery Avenue because the stones carry on out this distance It's much bigger than Stonehenge. Stonehenge would have fitted in like a tenth of the corner of Avery there. This is much more exciting. Stonehenge is a uh, pretty small by comparison, but yeah, where this hill comes down and where the end of the road is, where that goes down, meets up uh, at a place called the Sanctuary. Now these stones going across this distance make up the body of a snake. So the belly of the snake, the pregnant belly of the snake, was a free stone circle we drove through. Now the tail of the snake goes down here, and the, the very tip of the tail of the snake is the sanctuary, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So we'll see now. And here you can see a picture of Avebury, which was by William Stukeley. And at the top you can see the big circle which was the pregnant belly of the serpent with two eggs two circles inside and then to the right and going down that arm to the lower right is the sanctuary and the sanctuary is supposed to be the tail of the serpent and the head of the serpent which goes towards Cheryl which is that place where the monument was um, that hill with the monument where I've ridden my bike before um, that was where the head was going towards but it doesn't actually show the head because they weren't able to find where it was but this is the best representation of what they believe 
Avebury was about, which is very interesting because where else in the UK do you know that ancient man was studying and doing their religion based around worshipping or congregating around stones which were in the shape of a serpent? Quite interesting and something which the church, the English church and a lot of historians don't want to talk about because it's almost like as if they don't really want you to know that we were doing things like worshipping horses and worshipping snakes and worshipping various different types of um, animal forms um, in the past. They would rather think that people were worshipping gods rather than pagan worship, worship of animals. Starting off in second, oh well, never mind. All right, so the stones would effectively come across the top of the hill there and come out on the end of the byway. And the sanctuary, which is the tail of the serpent, is a circle itself. So I'll show you that in a sec now. But let's pull in first because it's a bit dangerous up here. Right, let's get ourselves back around in a circle. And we'll come out across on the other side, which is the a sanctuary but rather than indicate right and get taken out right see because the cars just shoot up there at 70 miles an hour so I need to I need to get across the other side really quickly there we go so that there is the sanctuary and those little stone marker posts are where the original stones used to be I think they're not there anymore but those are markers for where they would have been so uh, yeah but um, that's the tail of the serpent and as, as I said, the, um, the stones go across to Avebury over there. So now we're going to go up the byway, which is that way. And we're going to go and see whether the byway is A, clear. And B... Oh, this car's coming. Whether it's clear and whether we can get all the way to um, Rawton Airfield and... Oh, one's crawling and one's going fast. So that's the end of this section and we will be continuing on up to the Ridgeway. So if you want to see the actual Ridgeway route from Avebury to Rawton and Barbary Castle, then make sure you check out part two.